This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. I mean, I am pumped because, you know, not a lot of folks in my lifetime have started successful wrestling companies. And, you know, obviously Tony Khan is the latest and greatest to do it, but gosh, nearly 20 years ago, you did it, man. And it it wasn't without trials and tribulations and ups and downs. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. How are we sort of laying the foundation for what will become TNA, uh, where we, we, we stopped on part one was the end of March. So we ran through January, February, and March of 2002, as, as we hope to debut in June of 02. So we're going to pick it up with April 1st. Your dad reaches out to the ultimate warrior. Did you ever have any conversations with warrior? And were you thinking this is somebody who could be, you know, you know a one-off, uh, a short run, or could he be a staple of what you're trying to build with uh, cable and, and pay-per-view and whatever else you envision for the future? You know, uh, again, reliving all this, I had a couple of conversations with Jim, but very top level. And again, to put it back in context, I had never done business with him. Our past really never crossed at WWF and, you know, the, the stuff that was highlighted uh, or low lighted or however you want to say it, the, the, the vice show, you know, that time when he went back, um, what's the word that JR used? I, I still crack up at that. Destricity. I don't know what destricity is. You said, are you a believer in destricity? I would say to you in honesty, looking right in the camera, I haven't got a clue what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> I, I still was just like, huh? But anyway, that, that time frame, I was not at the WWF at that time. And, you know, w- watching that mania. See, anyway, I, me and Jim's past never really crossed other than I met him on Thanksgiving Day, 1985. And he was in here with Sting at, at the family, you know, the, 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 the territory, USWA or CWA at the time. But anyhow, our past had never crossed. So he was more of a uh business colleague or cohort or old you know it was a friend of my dad's in this relationship that i reached out had some conversations but my dad was doing all the true business negotiations and he was asking me some different questions very high level he was a name uh, a, a tremendous name value and and going into uh june of 02 we were really looking only looking at 26 shows even if you made every show so Jim was a three, four, five, six, whatever. Hey man, come give us a try. And I, you know, that was maybe one of those first pitches, but I gave that pitch to a lot of folks through the first year, whether it was Kurt Henning or Rick Steiner or Hacksaw or the road warriors. We're not asking you to sign an exclusive deal. We're not asking you to do anything, Than We're starting at a company. You want to come work a few shows he obviously had the name value. And so that was about the extent of my conversation with Jim. Your dad detailed that he thought he had a great conversation with him. Uh, this is all from your dad's book, by the way, which uh, I guess we should plug again. I think sales are going to go through the roof. The story of the development of the NWA TNA, a new concept and pay-per-view programming. Uh, you can get that on Amazon. I got both Jeff and I new copies so we could sort of break down all of this. Conrad timeout. Are you getting a cut of this book? You always somehow, some way you got to be getting a cut of this. Book. I'm, I'm not, but in my head, I'm, I'm helping dear old dad. So I okay. hope one day you'll plug something of my dad's and you will know, we'll be you go. Larry. I love him. I love a man. Roll tide. Uh, so chat me up. Your dad sort of lays out. We had a good call. And then the next call he has, uh, the next day or the next correspondence he has, maybe it's a contract or an email or whatever. It's totally opposite of what they talked about. And so your dad ultimately winds up back on the phone with him and he, and he, and he actually details one crazy day where he spends the entire day on the phone with Randy Savage and and Jim Helwig. And he's frustrated and he gets to a point with warrior where he says, Hey, uh, appreciate your time, but I'm moving on. And warrior picks up the phone and calls Vince Russo. And it's like, dude, Jerry Jarrett just, you know, put a halt of all of our talks. What the hell? Do you remember hearing from your dad that, well, this warrior thing ain't going to work out? Oh, yeah, I d- definitely remember remember that. But, you know, uh, again, uh, so I'm early 30s and my dad is 50, in his 50s and 59. Okay. Thank you, Conrad. Uh, but during this startup phase, we'll call it from the from the time WCW closed till like th- this time frame. 
obviously I was sharing many more conversations with my father about the business than I had, you know, the, the seven, six, seven years, eight years that I'd gone to WCW and WWF and back and forth. And I, I can re vividly remember thinking to myself, the talent of 2002 has a, not a completely different mindset, but quite a bit of a different mindset uh, than, than when he was actively involved in ownership role, not creative or, or not assisting Vince or consulting for WCW, but actively talking to talent that it wasn't the same. It, it wasn't the same mentality, you know, in the territory days, it, it was no big deal. Hey, here's a start. A lot of tech guys will tell you they had a start date and an end date. So when you take a job, it's a, okay, I'm working six months. I'm working nine months. So it was, I don't say cleaner, but, but a different mindset. Yeah. This was come do four, six show deal. And I don't think my dad had really been in those type of negotiations, so to speak. And there was, you know, uh, I'll say the underbelly of every conversation. And I've thought about this over the last week, no going with the knowing that I'm going into, you know, doing this podcast and these kind of conversations, digging with talent post WCW and nothing else on the horizon. It's the underbelly is, am I jumping on this train or not? Who's going, who's doing what, where's it going? How's it taking this? Japan wasn't at its peak. There was no, you know, you, you, there was, there wasn't really any places to go make a living. So my dad dealing with the hot cold switch of any talent, let alone ultimate warrior became, I became very aware of that. Hey, big daddy, you got to get excited about saving people money. Woo. Woo. Let's save with Conrad.com. Uh, let's get back to the observer quote. Road dog is under house arrest for six months, but both Jarrett and WWA plan on using him again when he's available. Boy, that has to be a bit of a blow. You hoped he'd be a big part of the first show, and now that's not going to work. And when you look at mine and Brian's relationship from day one, it's it's really a fascinating, and I hope to do a podcast on that one day, just our relationship, because sure. the roadie and, and all that. But at this time, Brian was in a bad place, and I do remember going, son of a you know, of course, I'm selfish and self-centered and wouldn't worry about his dark days that he was going through. It was, damn it, you're not going to be. Because Brian has a unique skill set of charisma and a family lineage and knows what to do without even telling him what to do. He's already going to, he's going to give you, you give him just a little bit of something good. And Brian has the innate ability to turn it into something great that's his own that's marketable and has legs and he also takes care of his opponent you just you can't really manufacture that and so i was i was super devastated but jeff knowing jeff probably back in those days and said all right he's going to be a shot in the really really great shot in the arm come uh, september october when he comes off house house arrest Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.